Bring up for round two, embattled IRS Commissioner John Koskinen returns to Capitol Hill Monday to testify before the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. At issue, thousands of lost emails to and from IRS employees, including former employee Lois Lerner, a central figure in the agency's targeting of co uh, conservatives. Peter Ducey joins us with a look ahead to what could be yet another contentious face-off. Hi, Peter. Hi, Shannon. And just because two years' worth of Lois Lerner's emails vanished following an alleged computer crash, doesn't mean Republicans have given up on figuring out the kinds of messages she was sending and receiving. I do think there's an opportunity to, to piece together the missing emails from Lois Lerner, uh, whether it's email that uh, went between her and the Federal Elections Commission, the White House, or Treasury. We're going to continue to pursue all those lines of inquiry. Now the lawyer for some conservative groups suing the IRS says officials have started coming forward to her to say it's crazy for the IRS to claim they can't find Lois Lerner's messages even if her hard drive was wiped. I've had IRS employees who have emailed me this week who said all of their servers are not, it's not one little computer in Washington, that there are servers in three different places in the United States. Uh, the IRS has a contract with a, a professional email archiving company. But Democrats aren't buying it, with lawmakers brushing off any controversy, basically saying there's nothing to see here. There is no scandal here. They went after the left and the right, arguably. But here, what this is about is distraction, just like the whole Benghazi thing. The White House said this week they don't think an independent prosecutor needs to investigate the IRS targeting scandal, saying the Obama administration has already cooperated with congressional inquiries and that Republican conspiracy theories haven't been panning out. Shannon? All right, Peter. We're going to discuss it coming up. Thank you so much.